All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Delta Wolf Five Five Six, and I'm back with some more Black Ops Three Custom Zombies. Today, we're going to be on the Shoot Hoss Custom Zombies map created by Chicken Hat Man. This has been in the most popular on the Steam Workshop page for Black Ops Three for a couple of months i think now basically ever since it was released and to my understanding it's basically just origins meets modern warfare 2019 shoot house which i think could be pretty cool and you know i'm finally getting around to playing it so i am going to be reading the steam workshop page description for it here shortly if you don't care about that there will be a timestamp, so you can just skip ahead to when i'm actually playing the map long ago on the battlefields of the great war on the outskirts of a legendary storm Four German soldiers must fight for their chance at survival against the undead horde. Shoot Hoss is a love letter to Black Ops 2 Zombies map Origins, taking place a few miles from Excavation Site 64. Explore a never-before-seen side of the battle that would shape an entire multiverse. Features, assortment of weapons from AW, BO3, World War II, BO4, MW 2019, and BO Cold War. Rebalanced and redesigned weapon traits and upgrades, dynamic weather, full main easter egg quest, multiple side easter eggs, fully custom wonder weapon, fully custom lethal and tactical equipment, custom player models, unique random perk system, overhauled hit marker system, classic origin style pap camo, full soundtrack to accompany your journey, iconic shoot house layout from Modern Warfare 2019, and many more secrets to uncover. I will be linking the map in the description as well as Chicken Hat Man's YouTube channel and Twitter account, so in case you wanna check those out and support him, download the map for yourself, that sort of a thing. But let's go ahead and hop into the map now. I hear some fires burning. The Shepherd of Fire? <laughs> it's during the bell at the beginning of Origins, okay. I like the look of it. I like the look of it. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Some of the textures are uh, still trying to load in, but that's fine. Oh, we have uh, the stick grenades too. Nice, very nice. What is this, Olympia? It is an Olympia. Oh, something down here. M14, right? Yeah, M14. We got a rock here on something. Maybe that's for the Easter egg. Got a door here, obviously. Another one there, and then another way out here. So there's like three doors you could get out from. Okay, we'll save you, and then I guess... Which door should I open first? Oh, okay, I see where we're at now on Shoot House. This is like where you would jump on top of to get your long shots for the camo challenges, which are such a skilled camo challenge, by the way. Let's go this way. I didn't realize there was two zombies left. That was only one. What do we got here? The e -sex. Gross. Okay, so there's something. Maybe there's a door there as well. There's another one of those rock things inside of that, and a toilet with a shield part. So maybe. Oh, there's another one of the things right here. I wonder what these are for. Hold on. Okay, knifing them and holding the interact on them doesn't do anything. But let's find the box. Oh, maybe I should have opened up the other door first. Oh, well. We have a dig spot right here, but I need a shovel. Let's see if I can find a shovel somewhere. There's another one of those rock things. Those are definitely used for the Easter egg. Maybe there's a shovel in there. There's a gramophone. And maybe not a music disc under the table, but I will say I'm digging the map so far. I am, in fact, digging the map. Actually, wait. Not yet. I need a shovel first, and then I'll be digging the map. All right, I guess we'll just kill the zombie. And then I'll use the points on this door, and then I'll check in here for well first we'll grab the shield part and oh wait i didn't even oh okay nice there is a thing so soldier's kit gas can shut shut up stop morse coding i don't know morse code uh anyway so we have gas can a shovel i think that's a mirror a shield i don't know i can't tell and the Volkgevier, the shield, and then the launch machine, and then codes. But also, probably, um, oh, I guess the gramophone is just here for uh, decoration. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> that's the teddy bear for the Easter egg, too. Or Easter egg song, that is. Which I'm guessing is a uh, copyrighted thing that I can't play because YouTube will uh, not be very happy with me. And I also kind of want to get out of there. Oh, there's a new. You know what? Let's just end the round here. Right. I'm sure this Morse code is needed for the Easter egg, but I don't know Morse code. Frankly, I don't really feel like looking it up, so <laughs> hopefully it's not needed for Pack-a-Punch. All right, we have 
decent amount of points. Well, let's go to the uh, supply depot. I really like the aesthetic of this map. It's actually really cool. Now, I am going to guess that there is going to be a panzer that will show up at some point. So, probably by round uh, that parts required for that. Oh, it's this. Huh? Oh, do I just have to defend it or something? Alright, we're gonna buy the M14. Oh, wait, I don't have enough money for it. I'm broke. One more knife. There we go. Now I can afford it. Give me the gun, please. Thank you. Oh, great. I failed because I didn't have ammo. Let's see. Device cooling. Oh, wait. Dowsing device cooling. Okay, so we just wait for that to cool down. All right. Well, let's uh, get to the box. Kind of hard to tell where it's at. There it is. There's the light in the sky. Now, it said random perk system or something like that. So, does that mean it's kind of like Nuketown zombies where, like, the perks will randomly fall from the sky or something? Or, or I don't know. I don't know. But let's go back over here while we're waiting for that to cool down. Let's see if I can find any parts. Oh, here we go. Here's a shovel. Found it. All right, let's dig up some dig spots. There was one, like, right here. Nice. And another one right right there. That one spawned a zombie. There's this dig spot here. Wow, we are very unlucky with these dig spots. I'm going to open this door and go this way. All right. Um, should I open up the... Oh, debris can only be cleared from the other side. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. I wonder what this is for. Maybe nothing. Maybe it's just a fountain that's just there. This is 1250. And the box is right on... Yeah, I should have gone this. I should have looked for the box first. There we go. An insta-kill right at the end of the round. Awesome. I don't know what these are for, though. But obviously, I was supposed to defend it because it was like a little health bar thing with the timer at the top of the screen. Ah, there we go. All right. Let's um, reactivate that. Okay, it is kind of like a soul chest, too. Oh, oh, okay, I see. That's actually really cool. We got Quick Revive. Obviously, I'm sure Quick Revive is supposed to be the first perk you get because... Or at least the first perk I get because I'm solo right now. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Must be one of the launch machines? Guessing? Okay, I thought so. It kind of looked similar to the shape right there on the HUD. All right, where's one of these other ones? Okay, so I was wrong. These are not for an Easter egg. Those are the perks. I was wondering how the random perks thing was going to work. And that's actually really cool. I actually like that. That's actually probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a custom zombies map in a while. I kind of want to go over here and buy this MP40. But at the same time... Ah, no, no, no. I think we're good with the M14 for now. Got a squeeze best use them bozos. Then we open this, and then the box is right there. Still costs 950. Open this. Yeah, more bad luck on the dig spots. This might be used for something though. It's like the um, Zetsubo no Shima thingy, but I don't see a bucket on the uh, the part list thing. What is this? MP28. I'm good. I think I'd rather hit the box. Additional parts require that. I saw that on the other side, over by that, like, um, tower thing on, like, the other side of the map. So, we're only round four right now. Panzer, I'm guessing, is gonna show up on round eight or something, so. And the bad luck continues. Got the Max GL, which is literally just a, uh, China Lake. Wow, what a great weapon. What? Okay, I was gonna say, how does it not impact him? But whatever, another dig spot there. I spawned a zombie. Snipe the hell out of you. Awesome, I did it. Generator station. Okay, so this is power then? You just gotta find a bucket or something. I like how there's just an MG-08 sitting right here. Can I just grab that? There's some ammo boxes. Nice. Alright. 
Oh, so it's doing a count. Thing. All right, let me just, uh... Gotta get... Ooh. Ooh, this is actually perfect. Do that, and then... Oh, it's the Zwyanda from BO4. That's the death machine. It's like shooting, like, explosive rounds. It's actually kind of sick. Thing's actually kind of cool. Um, oh, we can actually buy the perk without turning the power on. Okay, all right. That's fine, I guess. Or that's acceptable. Keep missing the interaction prompts, though. So I'm gonna get rid of this piece of garbage. Never mind, I'm gonna keep it. I'd rather have this because it's pump action as opposed to that break barrel launcher. What are the odds that I get two freaking launchers? Back to back. What do we get this time? There we go. There we go. The VKM 750, which is like, looks to be some kind of like futuristic PKM, which is cool. I love the PKM. It's very slow, but. Ooh. Like, this looks like the, um, Warfare 2019 uh, pump action shotgun. I forget what it's called in that game. My aim is terrible, though. I kind of want to save up the 4K for that, um, thing. I'm just going to go to, uh, Widow's Wine. That's what I'm talking about. I just want to go see if there's any more, um, thingies. Dig spots. I'm going to open that so I can get out of there later. I'm guessing there's, like, maybe not the golden helmet, but I'm sure there's the golden shovel. So I probably do want to, um, I probably do want to actually dig up the dig spots. Pretty sure there was one back here here or maybe not so the other one says it can only be open from the other side but i wonder about this one okay that one as well what is that Ooh, that's a double points i would like the double points please sick of you that's round i'm just gonna grab this just for the sake of it because this thing's actually kind of cool <laughs> Yeah, she's like, exp oh, it does, it does inflict self-splash damage. <laughs> Self-inflicted splash damage, so it is definitely shooting explosive rounds. Now, there is a trip mine wall by up there, so my guess is that there is a way to um, actually get up there somehow. This thing kind of reminds me of the, uh, kind of feels like the Gorgon. That's what I was going to say. All right, let me buy this. This is the closest thing we have to Jug. What is that? A max ammo? Wow, this thing's got a ton of ammo in it, I just realized. How big is the box? Oh, only 50? Now, let's find out if it is a BO4 max ammo. It is not. It is not a BO4 max ammo. Ah! Right. And the round, it is now round 8. So, um... Now the question is, do I open this? Or, ooh, oh, M14, never mind. Or do I try going up here? I'd say let's go up here. What do we got here? The panic attack. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Uh, uh, um, another shield part up here. And then we got a Tommy gun there. Or the M1928. Or M1927. My bad. Probably don't want to be up here in case the Panzer shows up. Or in case a Panzer does show up. So I'm going to... Gonna leave. Also, I just realized that either one, Quick Revive doesn't show up on the HUD, or two, I completely forgot to buy Quick Revive. So in that case, I'm gonna go back, and then, uh, okay, so I just didn't buy it. All right, makes sense, makes sense. Now, the other question is, is there a perk limit? Because normally those things get specified in the workshop page description, but it didn't say anything of the sort, so who knows? I feel like we're a little overdue for the Panzer. So, maybe there is no Panzer. Alright. Sounds good to me. I'm not complaining there's no Panzer. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Any parts? Any parts? Are there any parts anywhere? There's a lot of the perk spots. There's a lot of perks in this map. Ooh, we got a teleporter here. Install part. Oh, it must be the launch machine parts, which I have two of, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, so we need one more, which obviously it shows right there. 
It gave me an inter- oh, okay, never mind. No interaction prompt. Alright. Before I end off the round, I want to see if there's anything at Request Transport? Hmm. Maybe we'll check that out later. Uh, I just want to see if there's any other parts over here real quick. Got another dig spot. Oh, there is a weapon inspect. Nice. Alright. Nuke is gone. Where's the zombie at? Uh, it's still not the last one. You are the last one, though. Very nice. So, yeah. There is no panzer. Let's open this up. So... I don't know what just slapped me, but something just slapped me. I don't think it was that. What do we got here? Ooh, the Bowie knife. Well, it's already surpassed its usefulness. It's already round nine. There won't really be uh, useful to me anymore. Gross, I don't want that. You do have to pay for that. What does that sound for? Ah, there is a Panzer. He just shows up around late. You're late, Panzer. Oh. Oh, he climbs. Right into the zombies. I released myself, but at what cost? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. That's alright. We gaming. We gaming. We just, is that a max ammo? That is a max ammo. Let me just uh, grab that real quick. Oh, no. I feel like maybe I should... Um, Get a faster weapon than this LMG after, of course, we uh, purchase this. So there are Panzers. I had a feeling there would be, but he was late. The Panzer was, in fact, late. So I'm wondering how often these, like, random perk things uh, become available. Maybe I just have to be nearby it or something, or is it, like, every, like, couple rounds or something like that? Let's uh, hit the box again, see what we got in here. Sterling. You know, I'll take this. This is an SMG. Doesn't have as much ammo, but at least we zoom in. I hear a thing. Oh, it's over here. It's on the other side. I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Oh, no, I'd made a very bad decision right there. Great, now I'm not gonna make it. Alright, there goes Quick Revive. I don't need it, though. Oh, I guess it's uh, already done. Are you kidding me? I didn't want this. I just wanted to do the dig spot. Looks like we got Jug, though, so that's good, finally. Which means that now that we got another one of these... Excuse me, zombies... Appreciate you. Just kidding, no I don't. Right, we'll grab this. Keep all these zombies right here. This is probably the best training spot on the map right here. Until that happens. Oh wow, another Mauser. I can get more Mauser ammo. Wow. Appreciated game. Right side, I can get a bunch of points this way, so. Alright. Bye. Our Juggernog. I like the perk icons. They do look pretty cool. Ooh, a part. This must be for the Wonder Weapon. The Voltgevier. Which, probably something electric, if I had to guess. Um, since we only have a couple zombies left. Never mind, I think there's still a couple more spawning. Yeah, there's still a few more spawning. Well, whatever. That's okay. I'm good at having bad ideas, so let's, uh... Never mind. Great ideas. So that's a, that's two parts in a row. Three for three. The Lee Enfield. I mean, I don't know if grabbing this was a, uh... Good idea. But, um... I grabbed it. Oh, that's not the dig spot. There it is. Ooh, that's another part. Hold on, I, I kind of want this. Alright, then I can get this door open. Now we're over here. Got most of the map open. Still got to open up a little bit more of the middle. Obviously, it's not a huge map. Actually, I don't want to grab that yet. 
Um, no, I'm actually going to leave it. So, I think I could open this door too, but there's not really much point. Because I already looked around up there and there wasn't really much there. So, I, okay. As long as that doesn't kill that zombie, that's all I care about. So, we could open up that side door. Oh, there's the gas can. So, there's one more thing for the soldier's kit. Whatever that may be. Okay, I like the way this is done. Oh, uh, okay. Let's open up this one, though. Because this will let me get uh, up here. So I could buy trip mines. And then we get Doris Catwalk 17.0 right there. Another grenade. We can open this. And that ended the round. I didn't want that to happen. Oh, well. Uh, I conveniently planned that, obviously, so I can hit the box at this round. I feel like this is we're due for another Panzer, so... HLX4. I don't remember what this is from, but it looks very uh, BO4-y. So, my guess is that's what it's from. Could be wrong on that. Oh, there we go. Golden shovel. Yeah, it shows it there on the HUD, too. I actually like that. I like how it's, like, glowing. Pretty cool. Let's, uh, install the last part there. We'll, uh, kind of thin the horde a little bit here. For the drop, we got an insta-kill. Alrighty. You are the last zombie, so right now is probably a good time to, uh, no valid destination. Okay. So maybe that's what this is for. You request a transport, and then it will tell you where to go. But at the same time, I did see a teleporter thingy somewhere, right? Teleporter pad looking thing, I think, probably. Yeah, I'll take this. Kind of like an MPX. Let's also get Widow's Wine since we're here. And I'll do a double check up here just in case I miss something. I also am curious on what the panic attack is. Kind of looks like that's like a little bit of an outline of like a pump. Of a, like a pump action shotgun. But I can't really tell. Additional parts required. Looks like we're supposed to build some... Oh, no, this must be where the wonder weapon is, right? We only need one more part, and it seems like you get them from the dig spots. So that's uh, pretty cool. There's another shovel in there. So I guess I'll just go around finding dig spots while I have a zombie left over. Oh, I got a gobble gum from that. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. That's actually... That's that's cool. That is cool. Uh, the zombie bled out and respawned. Just, uh... Oh, its head popped off. So I could open up one of these, but... Hmm... I don't know. I think maybe I won't. We'll request destination... Oh, okay, so we have to actually wait a little bit. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's wait a little bit, then. Or do I have to stand right next to it? Oh, you do, okay. Which I guess makes sense. You're operating the, um, the radio or whatever. Makes, makes sense, I guess. This thing's a bit odd. This... I was going to say submachine gun, but I don't know if it is or not. Probably, if I had to guess. But, like, if you stop shooting and then try shooting again, there's, like, a big delay. Trying to shoot again, which is a little bit annoying. Not really annoying, but kind of not so great. That is why I will get rid of that eventually. Death machine. If one of those panzers want to show up, that would be pretty cool. Oh, no, I should have saved it for uh, that right there, but oh well. Well, I guess I still could, as long as I can interact with this. Oh, okay, I guess I can't. Yeah, that sucks. Alright. Let's just wait here. I don't want to get out of range, so I'm just going to stand right next to it. Alright, we're doing Morse... We're Morse coding. I totally know exactly what I'm transmitting. I'm good at multitasking, too. I can have my back turned to it. Of course. Of course. Hey, fuck off! Fuck off! Great! You just made me waste my money! Of course. I knew we were due for one. You know, he didn't show up yet. You know what? I'm gonna buy an STG because I don't want to deal with the delay. 
that thing has. Even though this thing is actually kind of weak. It would be good for points, I guess, but... Probably hit the box again. And you're not very good with that claw, are you, Panzer? You must be Auntie Panzer. Uncle Panzer's great at touching me. I mean, um... Well, at least I got the full map open. I can literally just run, run away from him. And he'll follow me. There we go. The space shield didn't break. Got an insta-kill. Very nice. Another insta-kill. Very nice. Since we have this insta-kill... Oh, we have a ton of money, though. We're almost out of ammo, too, so... Let's, uh, hit the box again. Uh, the Browning BLR. I don't think I want to keep this. Nah, probably not. Nah, nah. Cool gun, but I think I'm good. I think I'm good without this. There we go. Now we're talking. There we are. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. That works for me. I feel like we're overdue for another perk, though, but I don't know. I don't know how often they're supposed to show up. I'm gonna go through all the dig spots again. Maybe it's supposed to be snowing in order for uh, me to get parts. Man, for having the golden shovel, my luck is really bad. I guess I could just open up these because I have a couple of spare points here. Let's go back to our thing and request our destination. This time, the Panzer won't interrupt me. I'm going to have to kill both of them, though. That's all right, though. Round's over, but that's fine. I got this thing. Should be able to defend myself with this. I did it. And now, in theory, I could, uh... No valid destination. What are you talking about? What do you mean, no valid destination? It's beeping back. I guess that makes sense. I transmitted the message, and then I gotta wait for them to respond. I guess that makes sense. Alright, here we go. We did it. Obviously, I don't... Oh, perfect. Just the perk I was hoping for. I don't know what I just grabbed. I think that was the empty perk bottle. I think that's what that was. So, I think I got an extra perk slot, which... I like that. That's actually pretty cool. If that's what that was, which I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It looked like the, like, broken empty perk bottle or whatever. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Maybe maybe I don't know what it was. Pretty sure I could uh, teleport now. What? A valid destination. Your mother's not a valid destination. So my guess is it is uh, every five rounds we get another perk. Kind of like uh, Nuketown Zombies. What I was saying earlier. Might get down to one more zombie. Never mind. I'll kill them all. Okay, so that's done there, but still says no valid destination. So I'm just going to open every single door in the map, and I'm going to double check everything again. Maybe I need to find the codes or the last soldier's kit part. I don't know. This radio was Morse coding at me earlier, but I don't know what it means. As we established earlier, I don't speak Morse code. I'm going to grab this just for the sake of grabbing it. And then I'm just gonna hit the box and see what else I could possibly get out of it. Not that though. Here's the box. Hello box, welcome back. I don't want that. I had that earlier. Another teddy bear. Awesome. Well, I got two LMGs. If I'm left with enough points to pack a punch one gun and at 1500 points, I'm gonna buy the panic attack. This thing again. I'm just gonna keep getting the same like couple of weapons i'll give it like two more hits and then i'm just gonna go by the panic attack or maybe i'll keep this what the there's a zeppelin it's the brotherhood of steel maybe that's what the teleporting destination was people of the commonwealth I must turn on the power first how do i turn on the power so that that tells me that yes that is the destination but i do have that gas can and then all right i thought so but it didn't quite occur to me. Now, I wonder if that's... Because now the gas can is gone. So I wonder if... Uh, 
launch trajectory obstructed? What do you mean it's obstructed? So, is it like a bounce pad thingy? Like it just like brings me up there? In that case, it looks like I would land somewhere up there, right? Maybe right there? Maybe there's four red things I gotta shoot? I don't know, I'm just gonna shoot it. I got a hit marker. I don't know why I got a hit marker. Unless I accidentally hit the zombie or something. I'm just gonna shoot. Okay. Alright. Figured it out. Cool. We did it. Now we should be able to go, right? Yeah. Nice. I did it. I figured it out. We're in a new place. Made a sound. I interacted with this guy and it made like a little jingly sound. What was that? Oh, more grenades. Another radio there. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Leave me alone, zombie. I'm trying to look for parts and stuff. I wonder what that's for. I don't know. But yeah, I was saying earlier, like, oh, I have the uh the other part now. Oh wait, did I get that off of that that zombie? And that's what this guy right here? And that's what that, like, jingly noise was? Is this supposed to be a dog tag? Because that doesn't really look like a dog tag. I guess that makes sense, right? But then what's it used for? I don't know. But I was saying the gas can is now, um, gone. So maybe we can find, uh, more gas cans around the map or something. Obviously, I'm gonna buy that. Okay, so either no perk limit or it got increased by one. Got another door down here. Never mind. Can't mess with the door. There's pack a punch. Um, ooh, take a punch card. What is that? Hold on, I gotta, gotta circle back to that. What was that? Oh, that's the codes. Okay, that's what that's for. I was wondering where those were. I was thinking maybe at first I needed to like somehow get them from like that radio that was beeping at me with Morse code earlier. Obviously, it didn't give me anything out of it, so I thought maybe I would need that for maybe the dust. Oh. Um, I don't know if maybe jumping down there, off of that down there, if maybe that's the way you get back. Doesn't really look very safe, but another one of those things here. I'm wondering what that's for. Is that like a, maybe a soul chest? I could craft the shield there, but I think I'd rather build that back there because I don't want to have to teleport back here every time I want to um, do that. So I'm just going to pack a bunch of this for right now. Okay. The Iron Horse DCCC. Let's uh, give it a double pap if we can. Oh, that said 10,000. I'm pretty sure that said 10,000. It did, in fact, say 10,000. All right. That, I like that, actually. I think that's good. That That's good. I like that because that kind of balances uh, double pack of punching. Because double pack of punching is only 2,500 normally. So I feel like making it that expensive is actually a good thing. So I'm gonna kill you next to this because I'm curious on what this thing is. There was also another one, but I'm wondering what these are for. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. T oh, the power went out. Um, uh, what is this? What the, oh. Never mind. All right. I was expecting it to be something a little scarier. All right. <laughs> the power went out and then these things show up. Ooh, what is that? I was expecting it to be uh, something else. I want to grab that. So I'll grab that in a second. Ow. Kind of hurt. All right. So it is a part. Was it the last water weapon part? It is. All right. That makes sense. So they're like little electric wheelie thingies and that makes sense that they would drop the last part so you could get the first three wonder weapon parts by digging them up and the last one you get them from uh that after you get here i'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit we'll just uh okay now their souls aren't getting sucked into it so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh get back to to toss so i have phd so i should be fine right We are perfectly fine. The zombies kind of ignore me for a second, so that's good. Don't need to use the box anymore, I don't think, because... Oh, wow, yeah, thank you. 
Thank you for giving me a gobble gun that lets me bleed out slower for the next 20 minutes because that's useful in solo. Well, at least I got a pack a bunch gun now. This map is actually pretty sick. Then obviously I'm going to uh, get rid of this SMG for the wonder weapon here at the end of this round. Got a nuke there, but I don't care about it because I need points so I can double pack a punch my MG08. My guess is this thing is gonna... Oh, I need to turn the power back on? Okay, I was gonna, like, you know, like I was saying earlier, like the gas can. So I found it over... Money. Here, right there, okay. Let's just uh, dump that in there. So I guess it's kind of like the booze and the candy from Buried in a way. Like uh, you use it to turn the power on so you can uh, teleport, well not teleport, jump pad to the, uh, to the Brotherhood of Steel through the last zombie and then after you get there you then just have to wait i guess a little bit however long it takes to respawn and then uh it respawns now we can grab the volt giver requires additional energy so that means it's a soul chest yes oh and zombie spawn zombie spawn i wasn't expecting more zombies to spawn but now i don't have any perks that's just too bad. Well, good thing I could bleed out longer. Oh, man. Well, that's game over. That was okay. I wanted to use the wonder weapon. It is simply a skill issue. For sure, for sure. You don't have to comment it. I already know. But yeah, overall, I'd say that is a probably one of the best custom maps that I've played in a very long time. This map was really good. I like the random perk system. I thought that was pretty cool. I like the way the power works. Pack a bunch was cool. The wonder weapon, I'm sure, was pretty sick. Obviously, I died like an absolute noob and didn't get to experience it. But I'll definitely play this map more often because it is pretty good. And when you're not really paying attention to it, like the layout of the map, you don't really know that it's Modern Warfare 2019 Shoot House. When you, like, really look at it, then that's when you can tell. But obviously, that's because it's kind of reskinned as, uh, like, an Origins kind of vibe to it. Which, obviously, that's what the mod author made it to be. Which I think is really cool. The, the map is cool. The Easter egg, I'm sure, is probably awesome. There wasn't an intro cinematic or anything. Maybe I'll stream trying to do the Easter egg sometime. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll do for a zombie stream in the future. Let me know what you think about that. But yeah, I'd say overall... Highly, highly recommend this map. It's actually pretty cool. I kind of wish that the box had more of, like, the World War II era weapons because, you know, it would kind of fit in more with, uh, you know, the vibe and the time period that the map is supposed to take place in. It really threw me off with the Panzer, though, showing up around later than he normally does in Origins because obviously it shows up on round 8 on Origins, but it showed up on round 9 on this map, which is interesting threw me off for sure but i guess you gotta mix it up every now and then you know to keep things a little fresh so yeah thank you for creating this map chicken hat man great job I'm, I'm looking forward to more of your custom maps in the future if you can make more that are like just as good or better than this one like i really liked a lot of the things that that you did with this map especially the perk thing i think that's probably the like coolest thing about this map now in case you missed it earlier i will be linking the steam workshop page to this map mod in the description so in case you want to download it for yourself you can do so there i will also be linking chicken hat man's youtube channel and twitter account so you can show him some love and support there as well if you enjoyed this video let me know by dropping a like on it. if you happen to be new to the channel i would appreciate you subscribing other than that hope you have a great rest of your day morning evening nighttime afternoon whatever time it is for you and whatever time zone you are in i'll catch you all later delta wolf out